In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set any song as your ringtone, text tone, or alert tone. The first thing we need to do is to capture the audio of the song or the noise that we want to use as our ringtone. To do that, you want to open the camera app, and then you want to go to video, and you want to go ahead and record a video of the audio that you want to use. Alternatively, we can record our iPhone screen to capture the audio from our iPhone. And to do that, you want to go to the control center of your iPhone, and then you want to record your screen. And you want to make sure your microphone has been turned off for the cleanest audio. Now we've captured the audio we want to use and it's saved to our camera roll, we just need to go ahead and convert the video file to an audio file. To do this, we need to open the App Store, and then you want to click on the search icon at the bottom, and you want to search for an app called Shortcuts, and it should look like this. So you want to go ahead and download this app. Once you've got the app downloaded, you want to click on the link in the description of this video, and it's going to prompt you to add a new shortcut to the app, which will look like this. So you want to click on Add Shortcut at the bottom of the screen, and it's going to automatically add that shortcut to the app, which you can see is the first option. This shortcut is designed to convert video files to audio files, which is what we need to do if we want to use the audio as ringtones. Now we've done this, we just need to go ahead and use that shortcut. So we need to open the Photos app, and then you want to go to the video that you have just recorded. Now to convert this to an audio file, you want to click on the share button in the bottom left hand corner, and then you want to scroll all the way down until you find the shortcut called Video to Audio. If you don't see this, you may need to restart your iPhone. Once you've clicked on it, it's going to prepare the audio file, and it may take a few seconds depending on the length. Now it's going to be prompted to save the audio file on your iPhone, so you want to go ahead and save it somewhere you remember. For this example, I'm going to save it on my iPhone, and I'm going to save it in a folder called Ringtones. Once we've done this, you want to click on Open in the top right hand corner, and now you've successfully saved your first audio file. Now we just need to convert this audio file into an official ringtone we can use on our iPhone. To do this, you want to go back to the App Store, and you want to go back to the search icon, and now we need to search for an app called GarageBand, all one word. Once you search for it, it should be the top result, and it should look like this, and download the app. Once you've downloaded the app, you want to go ahead and open it up, and the application is going to look like this. So when you open it for the first time, you see the screen, so you want to click on Continue, Continue, and then you can decide whether you want to allow notifications. Now we've done this, you want to scroll across until you find the audio recorder, and then you want to select the voice option. It's going to ask you if you want to use your microphone, so you want to click on allow. Now we just need to go ahead and set up some things. The first thing we need to do is to disable the metronome, and it's next to the red record button at the top. And now this has been disabled, we want to go ahead and click on the brick wall looking icon on the left hand side of the screen. This will take us to our layer selection. Now you want to go ahead and click on the very small plus button on the right hand side of the screen. And within the song selection menu you want to select section A. And then at the very top you want to toggle on automatic. And then select done. Now we've done this we just need to import the audio file that we want to use for our ringtone. To do that you want to click on the Omega icon next to the settings icon on the right of the screen. And then you want to click on files at the very top. And now we need to click on Browse Items from the Files app at the bottom. Now we just need to go ahead and navigate to the file that we have saved our audio in. So we want to click on Browse, and then I want to go back to On My iPhone. So I'm going to select On My iPhone, then I'm going to select Ringtones, and then I want to select the file that I have just saved. Once we've done this, it should appear on the list here. Now all we need to do is press and hold on the file, and then you want to drag it onto the timeline, just like this. Now, if you want to preview what this sounds like, you want to click on the play button at the very top. And if you're not happy with it, you can crop the file so it plays and ends exactly where you want it to. So to do this, you just want to tap on the audio file we just imported. And then you want to drag the ends to the position that you want them to begin and end. So for the example, I can drag it to the beginning here. And if you do decide to crop the file, just make sure you drag it all the way to the beginning of the timeline, just like this. However, I am happy to not crop this audio file, so I'm going to return it back to its original state. So once you are happy with your audio, we just need to export this as a ringtone. So to do this, you want to click on the arrow pointed down in the top left hand corner, and then you want to click on My Songs. Now you should see a new file called My Songs, so you want to press and hold that file, and then you want to select the Share option. Now you want to click on ringtone in the middle, and then you want to go ahead and name the ringtone whatever you'd like. 
So for the example of this video, I'm going to call it example. Once we've done this, you want to click on report in the top right hand corner. Now the ringtone has been exported, you just want to go ahead and click on use sound as, and then you can choose whether to use ringtone, text tone, or assign it to a contact. However, if you want to do this manually, you want to exit out of the GarageBand application, and then you want to open the settings application, and from here you want to scroll down until you find sound and haptics, and you want to click into that. Now you want to find ringtone and click into that. Then you want to go ahead and select whatever ringtone you'd like. And for this example, we want to use the example ringtone. Now this has been created as our ringtone. We just want to go back and we can start using our phone just as we normally would. It's also worth noting that you can also use that ringtone as any other kind of alert tone. So if I go back to the sounds and haptics options, and then I select text tone, for example, at the very bottom here, where it says ringtones, I can use the new example sound that I have just created. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.